my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. Okay, so I'm a little bit excited about what's in this box. Just a little bit. All right, let's get something out to open this thing up. I think y'all know what it is. We'll get something appropriate. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited about this. Y'all have no idea. Well, you might have a small idea from the screaming. That's partially due to medication or lack thereof and excitement, but it's mostly excitement. All right, let's check this out from DLT. I just gave it away. I think y'all know what's in here. Oh, <laughs> Wait, you're saying, wait, that's just a 4Max Scout. That's what this is. No, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> oh, yeah. Let's look in here. We're just going to look in one. Oh, let's open this up. There's the answer. There's the answer you've been looking for. If you could just read the answer you've been looking for. I hope that's just blurry because of my... Stupor. All right, let's keep going here. Check this out. Oh, look at this. This is the answer. This is what Cold Steel needs to start doing. Oh, oh yes. Look at that. Oh, man. Check that out. This is the 4Max Scout DLT exclusive with the DLC coating on the blade and the OD green handles. Let's check that out. Check that out compared to that one. Look at that. Oh man, this is so cool. I'm so excited. All right, this looks see there. I mean, there's really nothing to sit there and go on and on about. We can go on and on about it. Let's just measure it and weigh it like we would normally, shall we? All right, so we got one, two, three. Four inches of that Aus 10A steel. The DLC coating. Oh, man. The big, thunky chunkiness of it. Got that super grippy Grivix handle here. Looks like everything is coated back through here, too. And what is this? Let's taste it. Mm -hmm. Okay, G10 backspacer, maybe? Yeah, G10 backspacer, I'm guessing aluminum liners there. Just the same exact thing that you're getting with the regular Formax Scout, except for in excellent colors. Oh, look at that thing. Oh, man. This thing is amazing. And it's not amazing because it's going to do anything different than this one. It's just amazing because it's different. And, you know, if you're not a oh, use your stuff kind of guy, this is the kind of collector thing that we're looking for from cold steel you know cold steel starts changing up some colors and changing up some some different iterations can you imagine if they came out with something else like this what else could they come out with like that that would change up something maybe a what about a pink one the jimmy slash pink format scout i don't know maybe we should talk to some people y'all talk to some people get down to the cold steel website and tell them about that but look at that thing this is amazing i'm serious this is great I don't, this is the first coded formax scout right yeah or formax period i'm digging it i love i know a lot of y'all don't like coatings on your blades i'm just loving this thing let's see how sharp this is real quick let's try the belly here oh yeah just like the oh cold steel just shaving bellies since 1980. look at that thing all right, let me know what you think. If you don't have a 4Max Scout, is this going to convince you to go get one? I mean, because it is a little different. Now, just imagine Handsome Black Santa is not on that blade. And just imagine what that difference is. We can flip it over, I guess. See that? Yeah, that's pretty awesome. This is like the Lawman, when they used to make the Lawman with the green handles or the Recon. Oh, man. I'm liking it. I'm liking it a lot. What kind of lanyard do I need to put on there? Something black or something green? Something pink? Pink's not gonna really go, you know? I'm not really into style, but I know pink doesn't go with go with green that well. Okay, so there you go. Just a really quick first look at this. I'm sure we're gonna get around to 
smacking that into something, probably some brisket, maybe a pork butt, not a hobo, too good for the hobo. Too good for hobo. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just excited about this. I'm serious. I've been waiting all day to open this and show you guys. It's been sitting over here looking at me, talking to me through the box. And I'm just glad I got to look at it. I cannot wait to play with this thing some more. This thing, and it's not, you know, it's not like you're going to go, oh, it's so much different in hand. It's not. It's just really, really cool that it's different colors. We're weird that way, right? Knife knife collector folks. All you knife people that are like, don't come in here with your negativity. It's a different knife. It's awesome. Nobody wants to hear your nonsense. We know you've been using the same knife since 1957, the one that Eisenhower gave you. When you went up to collect your medals. Okay, we understand that. <laughs> it, was, it was 1977. Jimmy Carter was president. We just attacked Panama. We don't want to care about that knife. This is the knife we want right here. This one's awesome. Of course, if you got a cool knife like knife story, just let me know. And I'll tell it on, on the live stream. But not for this one. This is just awesome because it's different. And that's all it. Because if this one that came out first, and then it came out this one, I'd be excited about this one. It's just different. It's just different colors. And that's what we're excited about. Don't ruin on my don't rain on my parade. Don't ruin on my parade. No. I think that's it for right now. Like I said, I get back, smash this into some wood, thrust it into some meat products, maybe chop into some boots. I don't know. We're gonna do something with it. Let me know what you think down there. Are you excited about this? Are you gonna get one now? It's a pretty good deal. It's a pretty good deal for something really, really cool like that. That's pretty awesome. All right, I think that's it. I'll talk to you later.